Hey everyone, welcome back to Monterey, California. Toby Fernie here with Caldwell Banker Realty. If you are new to this channel, it is all about real estate and living here in Monterey, California. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the process to purchase a home at Sea Haven, which is one of the new housing developments in Marina, California. I will be discussing the model homes, waitlist process, expected construction timeline, additional costs that may come up, working with a realtor, and showing you some aerial views of the development throughout this video. I want to start off by saying that I have no affiliation with Sea Haven. I am a local realtor here and I have some clients who have gone through the process. I often receive questions of what it is like to buy a home at a new housing development, in particular Sea Haven. So I thought I would go over the process in this video. Hopefully you'll find it helpful. If you get any useful information out of this video, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, that is always greatly appreciated. In 2020, Monterey saw an influx of buyers moving to the area. Newly built homes are in high demand and there are not many new housing developments in the Monterey area. Sea Haven is conveniently located near Highway 1, is around a 15 minute drive to downtown Monterey and only around 45 minutes to Santa Cruz or San Jose. The development has been in process for years now and they have plans to build for several more years. Sea Haven does have a homeowners association and there is around a $140 a month HOA fee. Of the new housing developments in the area, I think that Sea Haven has some of the nicest homes when it comes to the floor plans, interiors, and backyard space. If you check my Instagram profile in the description below, living in Monterey, California, you will be able to see some photos of the interiors that I took when doing tours with clients. There are four collections at Sea Haven, Laia, Larkspur, Villosa, and Cypress. Each of these collections have several models with different price points. If you check the description below, you'll be able to see the Sea Haven website and you can see the different specs when it comes to the size of the homes and the cost of the base price to build one of these models. When the website mentions a price, please keep in mind that this is the base level price when it comes to building these homes. It does not include features such as premium lots. If you want a different elevation, elevation is just another word for the style of the home and any upgrades that you're planning to do when building the home. You could be looking at adding an additional $100,000 to the base price depending on how you want to design your home. The development does have some rules in terms of the elevation, which is again the style of the home. They do not want matching elevations right next to one another of the same model. Some of the examples that you have for different styles would be ranch or Spanish. Sea Haven likes you to start the process by getting pre-approved with their preferred lender. They want to make sure that you are qualified to purchase the home and get yourself on the wait list. Every few weeks there are new lots that are released depending on where they're planning to build in the next phase of the development. The wait list is separated by collection and it is a first come first serve basis. Recently I had some clients that were number eight on the wait list and when some new lots opened up it turned out that there was a number of people that were either no longer interested or had purchased homes somewhere else. So we ended up getting one of the only three lots that were released for that style of collection. So if you are further down on the wait list, I wouldn't say that you should get dejected. You may be able to get your name down on a lot faster than you think. Yes, you can absolutely work with a realtor who can help represent you throughout the process. It is critical that your realtor is with you the first time that you decide to go into the Sea Haven office and register and tour the homes. If you choose to go and see the homes at Sea Haven, then afterwards you decide that you would like a realtor to represent you, you are a little bit too late in the game at that point. As is traditional in the area when you're working with a realtor, Sea Haven, who is considered the seller side in this case, does pay the real estate commission for the buyer's agent. 
So that's not an additional cost that you will have to take on if you're working with a real estate agent. As many of the costs are fixed when it comes to the construction of the homes, your realtor likely will not be able to help negotiate terms or pricing when it comes to building the new home as your realtor should be doing if you're purchasing an already existing home. That being said, I do think it is critical to have a real estate agent represent you when you're purchasing at a new housing development so they can help explain the process to you, answer any questions that you have, review the paperwork and advocate for you when it comes to the building of your new home. Once you are approved for a lot, you've made it to the front of the wait list, you are asked to come down and fill out a reservation that shows that you are committed for moving forward and put down what's called an earnest money deposit. The earnest money deposit is 3% the cost of the base price. Typically in the real estate process, when you put down your earnest money deposit, you still have the ability to get that back while you do your inspections and your due diligence to make sure that the home is in the proper condition. When purchasing a home at a new housing development such as Sea Haven, you do only have three days to make a decision if you would like to change your mind before your 3% deposit potentially can be kept. A couple of weeks into the contract, you will go over to Sea Haven, you will meet with their design specialists at your design appointment, and that is when you're gonna be able to pick out all of the additions or upgrades that you would like to the interior of your home before they start building. When you pick which selections you would like for the upgrades, you do have to put a 50% deposit down on those costs associated with those upgrades. I would say it would be reasonable to expect spending around 50 to $100,000 at your design appointment as some of the things that are considered upgrades may not be things that you're considering. It is expected, as long as everything is on time, that it is gonna take around six to eight months to build your home from the time that they break ground on your lot. Keep in mind that the construction industry has been under a lot of constraints this past year and there have been delays when it comes to supply chains and the number of people who can work on a construction site at one time. So when you sign your contract, there is a six to eight month estimated build time, but it does say that there could be unforeseeable reasons that would extend that timeline past eight months. So if you're looking to move into a house right away and you're looking for a new construction build, I would recommend that you purchase one of the already existing homes that is being resold at Sea Haven or one of the other new housing developments in the Monterey area. A new home of this size and quality in downtown Monterey, just a short 15 minute drive away, likely would be double the cost of what you're paying at Sea Haven. There are three new housing developments in the marina area, and as I mentioned, Sea Haven is my favorite of the three options when it comes to the interior of the homes and the yard space that you get. If you have any questions or if you're interested in touring the interior of some of the homes at Sea Haven, feel free to give me a call or send me an email at toby.ferny at gmail.com. Like and subscribe, stay tuned for future content all about real estate and living here in Monterey, California. Mm -hmm.